guys, it's Miss Sue at the Painted Turtle here to teach you how to make your watermelon bowl. Uh, my bowls are a little bit on the thin side right now, as in I don't have very many in stock. So I'm using some scrap bowls that I found around to make this bowl for you. Um, what you're going to need is your bowl, whichever bowl you got um, in your kit. You're going to need your colors number three, number 13, number 28, and some black. Probably going to need a little bit more than this, but um, you might end up having to refill your thing twice, okay, for your red. We'll see. Um, you're also going to need your sponge. I know you got a nice big round sponge. You're going to want to wet it so that it's damp, like wet it and then squeeze it out so it's not really wet, but it's not dry, okay? And you're going to need some paint brushes and you're going to need um, some water for your paint brushes, okay? Now, this is one of my favorite projects because it's really, really easy to make. Um, it's not a hard bowl to make, but it's always fun and it always looks great when it's done. Okay. So I, I like to, you don't have to, um, if you don't want to, don't do it. Okay. But because you can't go back, but I always cut my big round sponge into four so that I have lots of little sponges. Um, because I find that I can do a lot with this. I find the big sponge to be sometimes a little bit too big and a lot in the way. All right. So we're going to take our sponge and you can, we're going to use the curved side here. And I'm going to dip that into some red. So I like to dip in and then I just kind of like to dip off to the side. And yes, I dip right onto my table because it washes off. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go inside here and I'm just going to smoosh around this number 28. I'm going to smoosh around and I'm not going to go all the way to the very top because I want to leave some rind, if you will, some watermelon rind, but I am going to smoosh around like this. Okay. And then I'm going to just paint it in using some swipes. I'm going to let that dry while I start the outside. And then we're going to do that again. Okay. I like the organicness of this. I don't like to have a perfect rim, especially when it comes to these bowls. Um, you can sponge, you don't have to wipe. You can actually like just sponge in here if you like, like that. And you'll get that nice same organic feel to it. Okay. We'll do that for the next couple of coats. I just like to swoosh the first coat in to let it dry. All right. So while that first coat is drying, I'm gonna take a paintbrush and I'm gonna make a, lime green, if you will, for the outside, like a light lime green. I'm gonna take a fan brush. This is one of my favorite brushes, uh, but you can use a nice big wide brush if you like. I'm gonna make a lime green, okay? I know I'm not gonna use any yellow on here, only the lime green. So I'm just gonna actually mix it right into this pot. I'm gonna take some of this dark green, and mix it into this yellow. So I can make this whole thing a sort of limey green. Okay. This is gonna be the background green. It's an excellent green. So we're just mixing it. And notice I'm not stirring, I'm kind of dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. There we go. That's a nice, that's a nice background green. Okay. So I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to put two to three coats of this nice green all over. Okay. Right up to the rim. Two to three coats of it right up to the very rim of my bowl. I hope you guys are having a great March break. Uh, I hope that you have lots of fun activities planned. We're gonna have some fun stuff happening here at the Turtles. So be free, be, feel free to come visit us too.
You got lots of stuff to do at home though with your kit. So we're gonna do three coats of this lovely lime green that we've made. It's not really a lime green, it's more of a celery green. See how I got some dark green in there? It's not the end of the world. We're gonna put more in there anyway. Okay, so first coat done. What I like to do is do one coat of the green. Um, don't forget the bottom of your bowl. Okay. And then I'm going to let that dry. Do one more coat inside. So I'm gonna put my green up up here. Take my sponge. Dab it into the red, dab off. Okay, now this is where you start sponging, dabbing instead of uh, swiping. So you can dab like this around the edge. Okay. Dab, dab, dab. I like to do all of my top edge first, like that, then go down in, dab more. We're gonna put three coats in here. So if you have a bigger bowl than this tiny little thing, this is all I have. This is my last bowl in the whole studio <laughs> of regular bowls. That's it. Bowls are in short supply right now. Okay, so perfect. Okay, there we go. So there's one more coat in there. Um, while that's drying, I'm going to put one more coat of green on the outside. You can put that right over if you'd like. Go back in here. If you need to make more yellow or more lime green, go ahead, make more. Just gonna mix some in there. Dab, 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 dab. It's not the exact same green. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. That actually gives it more dimension when it's not exactly the same. Okay, so next one, whoop, swoop it on. Next coat. Now make sure you're getting all the way around. Again, right up to your rim. And I'm okay getting it on my work surface because I know that it washes off. But we did give you guys, um, I think we gave you guys a work surface, like a puppy pad. But I can't remember now that I'm thinking about it. Did I actually? Hmm. If I did, I'm sorry, parents. Usually I do. <laughs> but it washes off. This paint is not permanent in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so that's my coat number two. Pretty easy so far, right? Oop. Now I'm gonna go in. And this is where you could either let this dry or you could flip it over now. Um, it's up to you. It dries really fast because this paint is actually not real paint at all. It is literally made out of dirt. It's minerals, clay, water, and sand. And so it dries super fast because all the water that's in it gets sucked into the bisque. So I can touch it already. I'm gonna flip it over. I don't want that on there. So I'm gonna flip that over and I'm gonna do my last sponging coat inside with my sponge into 28. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna do one more 
dabby dab around the top. Dabby dab dab. Pretty easy to do this bowl. It's always fun. It always looks good when it's done. Makes you hungry and it's a great bowl to eat watermelon out of. Or red jello, just say. Or Skittles, this would be a good bowl for Skittles. This, this size especially, because it's perfectly small. It would also be a good bowl, size bowl for sherbet or ice cream or cereal. I don't think you'd be, uh, I think you'd have a good day if you ate out of a really cool bowl that you got to make yourself. I think that makes your day better. Perfect. So there's my third coat of spongy red. You can see the top edge is rough and that actually is what I want. I don't want it to be perfect because it's supposed to look like watermelon rind. There's a little glob of yellow right there. Let's take that off. Perfect. Got it off. All right, so the inside of our bowl, uh, we're gonna let that dry one more time while we do the last coat on the outside of the lime green. Okay. So I'm just gonna do one last little coat of lime green back here. Burr, burr, burr. I almost just stuck my brush right into the, into the red. Might need to make a little bit more of this lime green. Mr. Bill is here with me at the studio. He is making the tiles for the live sale that we just had. Okay. And you can see I didn't get the exact same color. That's okay. Just putting that last coat on all over. Right to the rim. There it is. Perfect. Excellent. So now I'm gonna put that, that paintbrush away. I'm done with it for right now. We're gonna um, let this dry for a second before we move forward with putting stripes on it. Um, I want you to also wash your sponge out because we need to use the edge of the sponge to make our stripes. So I'm going to, uh, you don't have to do it with a brush or a sponge. You could do it with a brush as well. I'm gonna show you both ways. So it's up to you. I'm just gonna wash this out in my paint water because I'm a rebel that way. I don't have to get up. Perfect, okay. I just got all the red off of it. Okay, so. With that being said, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it over one more time Ooh. and back into our red. You have a couple of options here now. You can put little seeds uh, by using a small paintbrush. So you could take a paintbrush like this and you could dip it into your black and you could make just little seeds. I'm gonna show you on the table here. You can make little seeds just by going like this. Oops, water on my paper. I should clean the water off a little bit better. Let's grab some paper towel. Okay. <laughs> you can make little seeds by going like this and making tiny little watermelon seeds like that. If you want little watermelon seeds, just go like that, dab it down and pull. Okay. And those are perfect little watermelon seeds. Or you can use your finger. Um, if you have a small bowl, I don't recommend using your finger because your finger is way larger than the bowl would be for seeds. Um, so I would recommend this way. Another way that you could use is the back end of a brush that has a rounded tip and you can just poke dots in. Um, but I like using the brush. I'm just gonna use the brush. You could also use a fun writer if you have fun writers. Okay. So I'm just gonna dip 
and I'm going to create uh, some fun little seeds. And I like my seeds usually in groups of like two or three. Um, just like that. Okay. In just random spots in the bowl. And you only have to do them once. That's the great thing. Go. And be up here a couple. Let's put a seat there. A seat there. Maybe one or two over here. And maybe two there. That's it. That's all I'm going to do for seeds in my watermelon. Makes me happy. I did one, two, three, four, five, six sets of seeds. But I have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 seeds all together, which is, you know, kind of cool. I like it. All right. So then I'm going to wash that brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of water before this gets all over places I don't want it to be. I'm just going to clean that off so that I don't get black where I don't want black because that would make me sad. Right? It's always good to kind of keep clean after you are doing something. All right, now we're going to make our stripes. This is the most fun, easy way to make stripes. All right, we're going to flip this guy over and we're going to start kind of making stripes down from kind of like the center out, right? I use this sort of edge of this corner of my sponge. I'm going to dip it into green, the dark green straight into dark green, dip it off because I'm not actually dipping it off. I'm working it into the sponge, okay? And then how I like to do this is I like to start here and I just make a stripe down. Let me pick it up so I can show you. Stripe here and I'm just lightly dabbing. I'm making a stripe. It's not perfect and that's okay. Just making us, I'm dabbing lightly because it's easier to add more. You really, it's really hard to take it away. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing. Come from here, make sure that you're not touching anything that's wet inside. Come here and you can add another stripe coming out this way. Okay, so dabbing from here, adding a stripe going down. Dab, 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 light dabbing. So you get that soft sort of edge. Okay. Then I'm gonna go from here, do the same thing, dab, 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 dab. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm just making stripes going all the way around the bowl. Turning it this way. Dab, 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 dab. And I'm kind of really going soft with my touch so that I'm making us a, a, a kind of not perfectly straight edge, right? Then I work a little bit more of this green on here. Start here. And I'm almost directly across from that one now. Here's my stripe. Again, not perfect. It's not straight in any way, shape, or form. Straight-ish, but not straight. Right? Gonna go add a little bit more there. Flip your thing. One more stripe over here. Stripey, stripe, stripe. go. So we're just dabbing and making stripes. Then we're going to we need to add a little bit more green onto our brush here or onto our sponge. Um, then we're going to go 
once we get all of these cool stripes put on, we're gonna do some splattering, which is my favorite part. Turn here, next stripe. There we go. Cool beans. And one more stripe in between those two. Take on me right here. One more right there. Pretty cool so far. Tip the back of that up so I can take some of that off. We don't need that big of a stripe. There we go. See, he's watermelony. Already he looks pretty watermelony. But we're going to do a little bit of splattering on him. I really love just doing a little bit of paint splatter. Um, and to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush like this that has nice fluffy bristles. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to mix in some of the dark green. Right? And I'm kind of loading up my brush. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go flick and just do a little bit of flicking on here. Just some light flicking. And you'll see, you'll get some really cool sort of paint splattery effect. I'll show you, pick it up and show you. See how you get that really cool splattery. And you're gonna do the same to the other side, okay? A little bit of water, a little bit of green, dab, 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 load up. Go. Take your paintbrush and just do some cool little flicks. Quick. So you're happy with what you got. Don't go too crazy. You want to still see some of your light stuff in there. You could go a little bit like berserk, eat splatter berserk, but you don't want to go too too crazy. There we go. Okay, I am happy with that. And then you're gonna wanna sign your artwork. Never forget to sign your artwork. You can take your fun writer or uh, a paintbrush and you can write your initials on the ends or on the bottom of your bowl. So you could write anything you want really. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna, cause I always do the same signature for all of our sample pieces. So, water on the brush. I make a nice big T right in the middle. And then I do a P over here. And then a P over here and that's painted turtle pottery and then you can you do a nice little <laughs> I don't know if you can see that but it's painted turtle pottery and he's got a little turtle on it. Cute, right? So don't forget to sign your name and then bring it in for firing. Um, and that is your watermelon bowl. 
It's going to be super awesome. It's just super easy. You can clean this up if you want to, um, just by cleaning up your sponge. Ooh, let me try it. I'll show you. You can uh, take your sponge, give it a good wash off. And you have a couple of options. You can either, your rim of your bowl can be green or you can wash it off and then just take your sponge and give it a little bit of a wipe just to kind of clean it so that you have a uniform sort of color along that top rim. Okay. And then clean it off, make sure your name is on it. And then you're gonna bring it into the studio for firing. And then we're gonna make it all super shiny for you. And you are going to enjoy your bowl. And let me know what you eat out of your bowl first. What's the first thing you think you're gonna eat? Okay guys, talk to you later.